Hello everyone, I'm Sage Shaw studying engineering and physics in IIT UK. Today I am uh, going to talk about convolution in which to signal first. Let us start by knowing what a signal is. A signal is a function of one of those variables that conveys or transfers information. There are two types of signals. One is analog signal and the other is digital signal. Analog signal is actually continuous in both time as well as an amplitude. Whereas a digital signal is a discrete time signal. It is represented by a sequence of numbers that is sampled at regular intervals. Today we are mainly going to concentrate only about digital signal. So we will get into what digital signal processing is. It is basically taking real world signals like voice, audio, video that have already been described and then mathematically manipulate them. Basically, we use math to analyze and change these digital signals. It is used to process. It is used for, it's also used to process the analysis of digital signals to extract information by using algorithms or techniques. Uh, therefore, uh, the, some of the applications of digital signals are always like the speech processing and voice processing. Uh, these days, noise cancellation buds are like famous, uh, and most people tend to buy it because it cancels all the all the no, uh, noise that is the high frequency and lets you not hear not to hear the outside world. This noise cancellation is a basically an application of PSP using filters. It uses filters so that it can cancel out high high frequency signals, whereas in speech first, in DSP algorithms, they are applied to speech signals for tasks like speech recognition, enhancement, and etc. And in voice first, it is like voice-based rules such as voice assistance, voice control systems, and voice communications. That is one of the fundamental concept of DSP. It is basically that uh, the input signal is decomposed into simple components each of these components is actually passed through a linear system, resulting in some outputs. These outputs are added. The signal resulting from this divide and powerful method is actually identical to the signal, output signal, which is obtained by sending the original signal through a given system. When impulse decomposition is used, that is the divide and conquer, when using the divide and conquer method, can uh, the procedure can be described, this procedure can be described in the form of mathematical operations, which is called convolution. Before getting into convolution, let us talk about delta function and impulse response. And first, let's know what an impulse signal is. Impulse signal is composed of all zeros except a single non-zero point. It's just a spark, spark signal. It's just a first split second, it gets a non-zero value and then again goes back to its original value zero. The, then where, uh, what is the delta function? Delta function is a normalized impulse function that, at, that is at sample number zero, the value of the function is one and at remaining other samples, it has the value zero. It's similar to the path function where at t equal to zero, the value of the signal is one. The impulse response is signal that exists, uh, exists the system but delta function is the input. It is basically when the delta function is the input of the linear system, it gives out an gives out an output of the impulse response. Now let us talk about convolution. Convolution is an integral that expresses the amount of overlap of one function when it is shifted over the another function. Let us assume a graph of impulse the input function as shown and a response function. So when you're convoluting it, you basically move the bulk uh, input function by a given time, a certain time, and try to overlap it with the impulse function. When the overlapping takes place, you find out the area of the overlapping and then again shift the input function and then find out the area of the overlapping and you read this process from it. Minus infinity to infinity. So, convolution is basically denoted by a star symbol. So, uh, we have a mathematical expression of convolution that is easier to find. That is, y of t is equal to x of t 
contribution h of t is actually equal to integral minus infinity to infinity x of tau into h of t minus tau t tau where tau is a variable. Similarly, for an input signal, which is a discrete time signal, which has discrete, uh, discrete points, you would replace the integration with summation. So, when an uh, input signal is passed through a linear system with a burst response of h of t, you get an output signal of y of t. And this y of t is equal to x of t convolution h of t. Let us now talk about applications of convolution in a digital signal processing. The main applications are filtering a signal and processing, uh, and processing a signal. A filter is like it is used to modify or enhance a signal by allowing certain frequencies to pass through it by blocking the other frequencies. Now, basically, two types of filters low pass filter and a high pass filter. Low pass filter allows frequencies like low frequency components of a signal to pass through them and blocking the high frequency components of the same signal. It is used in audio processing, like we have mentioned in noise cancellation. It the buds actually cancel out all the high frequency noise. Similarly, at high pass filter, it allows high frequency components of signals to pass through it while blocking the low frequency components of the same signal. It is used to detect sharp transitions in images. Let us discuss about low pass filter and high pass filter through an example for a detailed understanding. In this example, as you can see, the input signal is like the sum of sine waves of different amplitudes in different phases. And in the low pass filter, the impulse response is a smooth arc. When you convolute this input, input signal and impulse function, impulse response, you get an output that is slowly changing uh, that is slowly changing rap waveform being passed to the output. It cancelled out all the high frequency high frequency components of the given wave of the same signal and end to a plot of itself of just low frequency components. Whereas uh, when you come to see the come to the high pass filter, we observe that it only allows the more rapidly changing sinusoidal to pass through it. Like it only uh, it only allows high frequency signals of the high frequency component of the signals to pass through it, whereas transmitting the low frequency components. Let us, let us move to how to process, how convolution is used between processing as uh, There are basically two methods for it: inverting, att inverting attenuator and discrete derivative. An inverting attenuator is basically an analog circuit. It is actually made of OBAMP. OBAMP is where the input signal is inverted. An attenuator, it actually reduces the amplitude of the signal by a certain factor. And where's the state derivative? That's the digital equivalent of the continuous time signal, uh, I mean, time derivative. It is used to measure how fast the signal is changing at each point in time, discrete time signal. Let us, uh, let us understand more about inverting attenuator and discrete derivative through an example. As you can see, we have seen, we'll use the same, the same input function where the impulse, uh, impulse responses of, of the inverting attenuator and discrete derivative are different, uh, changed. So, when the input signal is commuted with the response, function of inverting attenuator, we observe that it basically flips the signal from top to bottom and reduces its amplitude. And in discrete attenuator, it results in an output signal that is related to the slope of the other signal. So from both the, uh, we have seen two different examples of applications in uh, of convolution and digital signal processing. The first look, uh, the first example basically tells you the viewpoint of the input signal that that is analyzing how each signal of each sample in the input 
signal contributes to many points in the output signal and the second way uh, points out the viewpoint of the output signal examples how each sample and output signal has received information from many input signals the first point is important because it provides an conceptual understanding of how convolution pertains to uh, digital signal processing whereas uh, and second way it describes the mathematical mathematics behind the convolution so both are equally important and it helps to understand uh, the convolution in conceptual and as well as in mathematical way uh, wrapping up the presentation, uh, we'll discuss, uh, we have discussed about DSP, which uses advanced math and two routes to understand and improve a signal as convolution and convolution is a very essential tool in, for DSP and like filtering, signal modification, signal analysis, and processing a signal. DSP is used for enhancing audio, speech recognition, and voice assistance. DSP is also used in data systems for signal processing tasks such as target decisions, range detection, and as well as time tracking. Thank you.